Hey everyone, it's Susie here, and today we're playing King Arthur Legends Rise. For today's video, I have a really cool feature to show you guys. I just thought it was really unique and something I've never seen in a game I've played before. So I've heard people complain about things related to accessibility. Whether it be animations that have too much um, flickering for epilepsy or the colors are too close together for the sake of being colorblind, like the greens don't stand out enough, the red or uh, blue versus blue or whatever, a blue green teal is really hard um, or like a purple and a blue difference. A lot of people don't see that. This game definitely has a decent bit of colors, right? Like we have green, blue, red. Um, there's different styles of stuff, but maybe depending on how strong a shading is, they might not look that different. Like blue, this blue and that green, is that super different? I don't know. Uh, and yeah, same thing here. Like some people just don't see a certain colors. And there's a, a colorblind mode in this game. And I thought it was the coolest thing. So I just kind of wanted to mention it and show you guys because I thought it was insane. So the, the craziest one is... Uh, Tritanopia, Tritanopia, then there's Protonopia, and Deuteranopia, Deuter, wait, Deuteran, Deuteranopia. <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing those horribly wrong, but this is the craziest, coolest, funnest one. This is like an Instagram filter, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how the people are. Look at how the people are. It's so cool. It's so interesting and really beautiful at the same time as well. And it's just, it looks like we threw a filter. But yeah, I, I can't imagine seeing the world where these are the colors that stand out only. It's so strange. It's so crazy. But that is the reality for some people, right? Um, I want to show you guys the bag because I thought this was a good place to really see the differences. We were just here, right? So you can see they just do a strong correlation between the reds and like this teal. However, this color and this color don't look that different. Even here, barely any difference. So this, I think they kind of failed um, at, this is a good example of them not doing a good job with the colorblind differentiators for these items to make them actually stand out for people that are colorblind because it's almost the same color. Uh, and the same thing here, the blue and the green are so close. So if you're this person, uh, if you're that, or one of the people that have this um, type of colorblind condition, this is a rough one for this game. I mean, for the most part, the symbols and everything are pretty different. But when it comes to the blue and the green here, or the blue and the green here, they're so close. I don't know. But it looks really freaking cool and interesting, right? Super interesting. Super, super interesting. Like, what is happening? Love it. Okay. Um, the other ones, take a quick look. I just thought it'd be fun to share in case you guys didn't know that this game was actually colorblind mode friendly. So this next one is Protonopia. Opia. 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 Really crazy how it makes things look, right? Really interesting. I keep going back to her because she just looks cool no matter what color she is. But you can really see the way it makes the yellows more greenish. Really interesting. She's so colorful, so it's fun to see her as well, right? And let's see how the differentiators of the colors are here. So this one's definitely different. Like the the green is very yellow, like a goldenrod, and this one is very muted. So here you could definitely see the difference between like, like the, the, um, what would be normally green for uncommons is barely any color. So those stand out pretty differently for this mode, I would say. So interesting though, isn't it? Oh, I love it. This, I don't know if there's common and mythic. Oh God. So these look exactly the same, common and mythic. So it's funny. This game is like almost there, right? It's like hashtag you tried. Um, they gave you the mode, but that doesn't mean it's actually easier to see their items differently. I don't know. It's so funny. 
So I don't know how useful this really is to someone who's colorblind. Now I want to know. All right, let's start with the first one. So here we go again, seeing a normal person. Seeing Ian. Okay, she looks, again, cool as always. She always looks interesting no matter what the settings are. Look at her wings, they look so cool. Really interesting. And let's see our little like, Clementine, very yellow. Very weird <laughs> for a normal eye. It's not colorblind. And here again, very same idea, just a little bit different. Like in this version, the green is more muted and the yellow is more like the red. Interesting. And But these actually all look very different. Okay, so this one's good. But the one in between is pretty funny because that's actually pretty bad, right? It's actually pretty bad that it's not that different. So, and the symbols are the same, so it, it doesn't let you tell. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm sure if you are colorblind and you're used to gaming, you're very much used to double checking what the labels say for things because you know you don't want to mess up your colors. But let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think for this? Do we have anyone who is colorblind watching this video right now? What do you think about these crazy modes? Does this help you? Does it make less strain for your eyes? Is it less confusing versus the normal mode? Or does it not even really matter at the end of the day, right? Does it not matter? Does it matter? Take a look at stuff, right? It's so interesting here. Um, it's, yeah, you zoom out. Oh, that's so funny. When you zoom out, it doesn't put the filter on it. Ha ha ha. Oh, uh, <laughs> the filter goes away when you zoom out. Sorry, you can only view the world when you hold long press and it glitches awkwardly. I don't know. I At first I thought this was really cool. And now the more that I look at it, the more I'm like, wait, is this even that good? Is it really just a... Oh, no. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Is it... Just putting a filter on it and not really helping anybody? I really am curious. You guys tell me. Let's start a battle. Oh, look how cool those look, though. All right, let's start a couple battles because I need to anyway. And let's see what the piggy looks like without purple. It's so different. That's for sure, right? But does this really help? That's what I want to know. I want to know if this is actually helpful. Because, all right, so I work for Godforge and Fateless. I actually just shared this with the team. I was like, they have a colorblind mode. I haven't seen games do a colorblind mode. But obviously the, the goal is to have the base colors and styles of everything be strong and different enough to where anyone that is any version of colorblind can still tell the differences. And sometimes that also helps with having different symbols or shapes for things, right? Not just color, because you're colorblind. But yeah, this is just a little bit of an awareness video. I guess a little bit of honest appreciation that this game is trying to be inclusive to the community. <laughs> As this is not. <laughs> okay, that cinematic is just a video, so you're stuck with no color blindness for that, but that's funny. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool that they did this. And I say that as I look like a super derpy pirate, as always. I don't have um, a handicap per se. But I did have a medical condition called Bell's Palsy where my right side of my face just stopped working. And it's still not really working here. My eyebrow still doesn't really move on this side at all yet. Maybe one of these days I'll look normal again. But for now, I'm your favorite derpy pirate. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.